Then time taker, 1600 meters, they sent on their way. Green Phantom was slow to go when the starter said go. Mama's boys in the orange, Dark Fate is right there shortly after the start. Mr. Gonzalez has a good position. That's got the white blaze. Hat and all's going around them, the green sleeves and cap. Storm chases on the inside, then comes Time Taker. That's racing about five or six lengths off the leader. Further back in the run is Valencia. Believe Achievers racing about six or seven lengths off the leader. And then comes Mondavi, My Lord and Master, Star Crusade, Green Phantom, Bohemian Lads, the trailer. And it's racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader. In front is Dark Fate, Hatton Hall is second. Mama's Boys now getting urgings. Mr. Gonzalez is in the red back in fourth, about four lengths off the leader. Then Storm Chaser, Believe Achieve. They are followed further back by Time Taker. On the outside, Mondavi, then Valencia, My Lord and Master, and further back on the inside, Green Phantom, and at the back, Bohemian Lad. Homeward bound, Dark Fate the leader. Hatton Hall the first one to challenge. Down the inside, Mama's Boy, Time Tagger gets hooked out. Mr. Gonzalez is further back in the run. Down the inside, Star Crusade. Dark Fate. Storm Chase is a runner. Time Taker's running a race on the outside. Time Taker's trying to get to Storm Chase. Star Crusade's on the inside. But Time Taker's taken it up. Star Crusade on the inside. Time Taker will win, though. Hung to the outside. One a length and a quarter. Star Crusade second. Storm Chase a third. Bohemian Lad ran fourth. Well, the money came, and it ends up toad favourite, number two, Time Taker. Well done to the guys who got the nine to two. And Time Taker, the Time Thief, the son of Time Thief wins it, Nady Carson. And Time Taker for Muzi Yeni as well, Kriegel Stud, and bred by Nadison Park Stud. Second, number nine, Star Crusade. Third will go to number one, Storm Chaser. The fourth position, Bohemian Lad, who came from one of the trailers. And the long-time leader, Dark Fate, is further back in the run. And then came Mama's Boy. They were followed by My Lord and Master. So Time Taker, you'll see, still hangs to the very outside on the right-hand side with the red sleeves and cap under Muzi Yeni. He keeps it together and it starts to drift. He changes his stick to the left hand but looks for the company of the outside rail. And Time Taker is the winner. At one stage was showing six rand, ends up toad favourite at 280. Back to the studio. The first leg of the pick six has been run and it's gone the way of the handsome son of Time Thief, Time Taker number two from the Nathan Cotson stable. Muzi Yeni's done the duty from the saddle. Shrigor Stud owned this. Well, it could be a Shrigor Stud double into the Summer Cup tomorrow, but we'll touch on that in a moment. Before we go any further, Ten up Yendi is the gentleman that looks after Time Taker. Well done to you, Mr. Yendi. Congratulations. Thank you. There, there we, we go. go. 1,000 Rand. He's very happy. You can go and attend to your horse. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nate, I, I always say it, and uh, lovely to have this 1,000 uh, Rand for, for the grooms, and uh, it really means a lot to them, and uh, it's a great initiative. Yeah, definitely. It helps them a lot. You know, It's, it's very nice for them, uh, extra money, which is, all helps. Let's talk, talk about, about Time Taker, and as I just said to you, Orfe, well, you know, maybe uh, the Hattings family have taken a little double, a uh, Time Taker, into their horse in the World Sports Betting Summer Cup tomorrow. Lovely to have these winners uh, for them. They've supported you. Yeah, it's very nice. You know, he bought me also last year. He always said to me, he'll get me one, and he did what he did. And, um, yeah, just a big thanks to him and Suzette and his wife. Um, I'm very happy for that. And uh, also to Hassam Adams, who bed the horse, and to Muzi for a nice ride. Nathan, correct me if I'm wrong, and, and it's maybe because I've had a few round on him in the past, but a little disappointing that he hasn't won, and you know, he's taken four runs to win, because I, I thought he would have won a run or two ago. Yeah, I think also the poly, now I don't think he actually quite takes to the poly quite now. Um, he didn't seem to enjoy it, especially last time, as he said to me, you know, he missed the break. Yes. He didn't seem to enjoy the poly, I must put him back on the grass. Well, well there we go, that was the winning recipe. Before you go... Uh, you're a stable that we like to include, we like to follow. You've got uh, Tiger Tank for Monty Murray Mutu and his team just now, uh, Kevian's Cara. How are they doing? Yeah, Tiger Tank's been doing very well at home. I brought him back to the 2000. I think it'll be better for him. Um, obviously, there's uh, some Marcus Source to beat, in my opinion. And then um, also uh, Kevin's Cara, you know, last time they canter-canter sprinted and she also needed the run. 
um, she is fit and well today, and I'm um, happy there's a good pace and she'll give a good account of herself. Nathan, Nathan, lovely to have you in the winner's enclosure. Well done to you, the whole team. Job well done. Thank you very much. Time taker. Muzi Yeni, no doubt, is standing behind the Hollywood Bets. Where we come? Right there behind the Hollywood Bets uh, stand. Muz, tell us about the race. Uh, very good win, I thought. Yes, he's a lovely horse, but he's getting a bit cultish and uh, it's almost getting to him. I, I rode him before he started racing. I thought he would be a horse that would race in the 90s and maybe possibly get to the 100s. But uh, he's just been very cultish and not putting his mind to, to the job. And I was lucky that he uh, had a bit of assistance at the start because he's been jumping her, uh, badly slow and giving up his position. Try to get him in today as, bet, as best as we can and he still was out of position. But uh, his class just pulled him through out of it, you know what I mean? They started falling away. My danger was right in front of me and I was going better than him and I just swung outside and I let him slip in the hands. Still a lot of improvement to do and uh, maybe with a bit of gelding he might be a bit, he, we might see more of him. The rest of your runners, uh, we, we like to follow you, we, we like to look at your horses and one in particular I want your opinion on because you've built up so many relationships with plenty horses, Muzi, and one is Eden Gardens Glitz. What are you expecting today? Well, he's in great form. She's in great form, and uh, my biggest concern is the pace and how the race might run, because the the f the favourites, I think Anton's Anton's on the favourite, and he's really drawn well. And if we can't sprint, it might not be in my favour. So pace is key, and he enjoys a quite a, a good a good run race. So that's the only concern. But being well and knowing that she'll be right there, I don't have any doubts. She's in a good space. And uh, she's done three in a row, and there's no reason why she can't pull off the fourth one. Obviously, it all works out with pace. You know. Lovely chatting. All the best to you, and let's hope we talk later on. Thank you very much. Uh, what do you call this? I uh, just want to thank Mr. Hugo Hudson. Very privileged to have a nice big owner like this supporting Nathan. Thank you very much. I wish him best of luck with this Summer Cup run. I think he's the horse to beat. I know there's Summer Pudding, but I think at the weights and the draw, to me, he looks like the horse to beat. Well done, Moose. Thank you very much. Wish him best of luck tomorrow. And to the Larry Weinstein family, our biggest condolences for the loss of Ricky. I just want to dedicate to the, to, to the family. And uh, to my sponsors, Teletrack.com and Computerform.com. Thank you very much. What a, what a great, great man he was, Ricky Weinstein. Well said. Well said. Time takers got it won, and uh, that's for Nathan Cotson. Well done to the Hatting family. No doubt they'll be en route or in Joburg already. Tomorrow, a big day, the World Sports Betting Summer Cup. Where pack leader hopefully will be uh, uh, passing the line first for you and your family. But as Muzi said, he believes time taker is the one to beat. Respect for summer pudding. Just to back up what Muzi said, our heartfelt condolences to the Weinstein family on the passing of Ricky this week. Shocking news. But there we go. 2, 9, 1 and 13. Those are the numbers that you're going to need. Race number three, the first leg of the pick six. See you just now.